The most famous Superboy is, of course, the Connell, a.k.a. Connor Kent Superboy, who's going to debut in live action for the first time on the upcoming Titan Season 2 that debuts in September, next month. And, of course, he's already been on Young Justice, the popular animated cartoon, and probably in some DC animated movies. I haven't surprisingly seen a lot of DC animated movies, so I don't know all of his appearances, but, you know, that all came from the comics. And even though he is the most famous Superboy, you may not know that there have been several Superboys in the comics. And in this video, I'm going to talk about the four most important ones, in my opinion. You know, DC in the comics, they like to have all these alternate universes and alternate Earths, Elseworld stories. So there are probably a gajillion, well, not a gajillion, but more than four different versions of Superboys. But in my opinion, as a longtime DC Comics reader, only four of them are really important. And we're going to list them right now. Number one is the Superboy I first started this video with. Connor Kent, a.k.a. Connell, the young Justice Superboy who's going to be in Titan Season 2. He is a clone with DNA from Superman and Lex Luthor. And, you know, for a while he was kind of his own solo superhero. He debuted right after the whole death of Superman storyline. After Superman died or appeared to die, we had all these different, you know, super characters show up like Steel, Cyborg Superman, the Eradicator, and Superboy, a.k.a. Connell Connor Kent. He looked very different when he first, you know, debuted with a leather jacket and, like, the tight red pants, or were they blue, I don't remember. Later on, you know, he joined the Teen Titans, and they decided to give him, you know, the, the jeans and the t-shirt, and that's the popular look that's become the most well-known. That's why that's the way he's going to look like in Titans and why he looked that way on Young Justice. He also had... In the New 52, they gave him, like, this kind of red Tron outfit I really liked because I'm a sucker for, like, you know, bright lights and glowing things. So, you know, I just thought I'd throw that in there, although I doubt that's anyone's favorite Superboy outfit. The favorite Superboy outfit is probably the jeans and the shirt. Recently, in the most recent Young Justice comic, Brian Bendis, the current writer of Young Justice, has put Superboy back in his original, an outfit that's more like his original stylings with the leather, ja leather jacket and stuff. So... If you are curious about a Superboy, a current Superboy comic book appearance, if you find a Young Justice issue, that's what he's going to look like as of now. Number two, the first Superboy is actually Superman just as a younger boy. In classic old DC comic, super, um, comic books, Superman, they had the adventures of Superboy, right? They were just basically his adventures when he was just a young boy, a teenager with superpowers. That was when, you know, his girlfriend was Lana Lang. There were other people too, I think. Lori Lamaris was one. And when he joined up with... He also, a famous thing he did as the Superboy, the teenage Superboy version of himself, he joined the Legion of Superheroes. It was Superboy and the Legion of Superheroes originally. And then the Legion of Superheroes, you know, they got their own stuff going on and they had adventures in comic books without Superboy in them. But, you know, he was the original Superboy and DC Comics told a lot of different, you know, adventures about him in the comics. And we also got versions of this Superboy in actual live action. There was the Superboy TV series, which had um, John Haynes Newton and Gerard Christopher playing Superboy. And Smallville, well, Tom Welding was basically kind of a Superboy TV show, right? Because it was basically the adventures of Superman as a teenager in high school. And that's pretty much sort of kind of what Superboy's adventures were like in the old classic comics. Number three. Evil Superboy, also known as Superboy Prime, a.k.a. Superman Prime. I think they eventually called him Superman Prime. But um, this was, you know, DC has all these different Earths. This was the Superboy of one of those other Earths, who originally was a good character. Um, in the Crisis, the first DC big crisis, crisis on, crisis on Infinite Earths, after they all beat up the Anti-Monitor, Superboy, this version of Superboy, was trapped... I think they actually volu he voluntarily went with some other people to a paradise dimension because his Earth was one of the ones destroyed. But being in this strange paradise dimension for so long with not that many other people in it and with his own home world destroyed, he kind of went insane. I think that's the way they kind of rationalized or wrote it. And so he emerged from this strange paradise dimension insane and became a villain. One of DC's like biggest awesome villains, actually. Um... You know, in Infinite Crisis and other storylines, I was really, like, enthralled by the villainy of Superboy Prime. There was some good writing by multiple people over the years in these storylines where, you know, Superboy went bad. He was killing people, doing all kinds of horrible stuff. Um, 
So, you know, he kind of was, he started out as good Superboy or one of the good Superboys and wound up being one of the bad Superboys, but um, an awesome character. And I think he, you know, that was really great writing by a lot of people to craft him. Number four, Superman's son, John Kent. Superman and Lois have a son now. And originally, you know, he was written and drawn as a little boy. But there was a recent storyline written by Brian Bendis where Jor-El, Superman's father, decided to take his grandson on a road trip. <laughs> sort of, kind of. To help, you know... Well, this version of Jor-El has ulterior motives, but what he told everyone is that, you know, he wanted to help his son find him, his grandson find himself. You know, it was kind of like a human interest family bonding trip is what he said. And so they went off into space. They got trapped in a black hole when they came out. John Kent actually was grown up to be a teenager. I thought John Kent was cool as a little boy. I liked the character as a little boy. I thought he was interesting. Um, now that Brian Bendis has aged him up, you know, rapidly to be a teenager, I'm kind of like, well, okay, I guess I'll get used to what I miss, him. I miss him when he was a little boy. But the reason why he's like been aged up to be a teenager is I think so he can get ready to join the new version of the Legion of Superheroes that Bendis is writing. And I think this modern, new, rebooted or updated version of the Legion with this new Superboy is kind of mirroring the Legion's first introduction, those old classic DC comics with, you know, the classic old school Superboy whom I mentioned, that was Superboy number two. And so I think he's wanting to kind of, you know, have the present mirror the past by having a new Superboy be the one to introduce this new Legion. But anyways, John Kent is the fourth Superboy and a character I liked. When John Kent first showed up, I was kind of annoyed and I thought it was, he was an unnecessary character, but he really grew on me and I really like him as Superboy. And I do wonder... You know, now that he's here and con -El is here, is there room for two Superboys in the DCU? Is one going to have to be called Superboy and the other one going to have to have his name changed? Because <laughs> they can't both have the same name, can they? Or are they going to be like, you know, the Green Lanterns? There's multiple people as Green Lantern, but they all call themselves Green Lantern. So I guess John Kent and con -El slash Connor Kent can coexist with the same name happily. So there we have it. The four Superboys whom I think are the most important. <laughs> Now, there may be some others somewhere in the vast, obscure corners of DC and its multiple multiverses. And Well, there's one multiverse, but multiple universes and Earths whom I omitted or whom you think is more important. But this is my list. <laughs> so this is what you're getting. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please like it on YouTube and subscribe to the channel because I appreciate your viewership and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.